Hi, this is Matt McIntosh and in this video we're looking at technique 3 for how you could go about retopologizing parts of your character. Okay, so one of the things that uh, students tend to uh, ask about quite a lot is can I use the Z Remesher tool within ZBrush? And yes, you can. It's just a little button that's within ZBrush. Um, you click it and it'll rebuild your mesh. And I'm just going to demonstrate the process behind it. So if you're wanting to rebuild this mesh, um, what you need to do is select it. Ideally, you look to decimate the thing. Um, so I'm just going to take this down to about 10% instead. Um, reprocess it. Once that's done that, I can then decimate the current mesh down to 51,000. The reason that I'm doing that is because it's rebuilding the mesh, it's calculating where all the points are. Um, the less polys it has to work with, the quicker it can do it. So um, to get it underway, go to geometry, tell it what poly count you want it to aim at. So at the moment, we're aiming at 0 0.05 each one corresponds to a thousand so at 0.5 we're looking at 500 polys but that being said in ZBrush 51,000 polys is actually really in another package 102,000 triangles so um, with this we just got to be wary of how many polys we use so as an example I'm just going to put two so that'll be 2,000 polys um, and I'm just going to click on Z Remesh. As we can see, it takes a while for it to kind of load in its information as it rebuilds this mesh in a quadded format. Now, the process is pretty quick. It rebuilds the thing for you. Um, but as we can see from its polyframe, there's a lot of polys in there. So you're still going to need to go through this and delete out faces, delete out edges, and we're still getting weird polygons occurring all over the place. Um, so it's up to you whether you're going to use this. Um, if you use another separate tool, it's going to be an individualized object. It's not going to connect them up for you. So um, just bear that in mind. The things that it tends to work well for are objects like this. Okay, so if we if we see that this... It's just a tubular element. There's not much detail going on. If I go to geometry on this one, I'm going to put it at 0.5 as its target poly count. Click on Z Remesh. Um, you'll notice that it does a better job of it because it's just one piece of geometry um, and it's not having to worry about all the other elements that are in the uh, the object at the same time. So, um, yeah. If it's a simple object, it's going to kick out better results. But as we can see, there's still areas that need sorting out. So it's not a be all and end all one click button and that's it. It fixes everything. It might give you a good base to start from. But please, you know, go over your meshes, make sure that everything's working the way it should do. Uh, and don't just expect to click that button and everything works. Okay, thanks for listening.